In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can sell digital downloads on your own website. And I'll be using Everbee Store in this video. So step one, you wanna to go to the link in the video description and sign up for the Everbee Store. Once you sign up, you're gonna create your own website. And it's pretty easy to do. When you first sign up, you're going to get a menu that looks like this and you can create with AI on the left hand side. You can import your store from Etsy or you can migrate from Wix. So I'm gonna put a link at the end of this video on how to do all of this, but I'm gonna jump ahead and we're going to assume you've already created your store and it's going to look like this. So this is my Zen water cooler store. It's called zenwatercooler.myeverbee.com. And we can see here, I have no actual products. These are just placeholders for either a print on demand product or a digital design product. Maybe even I'm selling my own physical goods, but in any event, the website doesn't actually have anything for sale. So I'm gonna be adding in a digital download and I'm doing that from this dashboard. So what I wanna do is on the left-hand side, you're gonna see here this little menu along the left-hand side. I'm gonna click it and you'll see now this menu pops open. You can see all the different items that are here. What I wanna do is go here to products and then you're gonna see an option for products and collections and I'm gonna click on products. Okay, now here I've got a blank product screen with nothing on it. There's no rows available and I wanna add my first digital download. So what I'm gonna do is go over here to the top right hand side and click add product. And then from here, I just need to fill in this listing. Okay, and here is the digital download design that I'm going to upload. So people can download this, they can pay money and they can download this as an SVG file or a PNG file. Maybe I'm making it as a DXF file or an EPS file. There's all sorts of different file types. People even sell PDF files. So there's lots of different options here. So whatever it is you're gonna sell, this is how you do it. So I'm gonna enter my product title here at the top. Okay, I'm gonna sell medieval knight armor and then the product description. I'm gonna expand that. Now, if you're not very good with this product description, no worries. You could jump over to something like a Microsoft Copilot or ChatGPT and you can have them actually write your product description. So in this case here, I'm using Microsoft Copilot. I'm gonna click this little plus button and I'm actually gonna upload my picture into Microsoft Copilot. So I'm gonna click this little plus button and then the upload button. Okay, so the image is now uploaded and I'm gonna tell Microsoft Copilot, write a product description for a digital download in SVG and PNG format and I'll click go. Okay, and we've got a nice little write up here, Medieval Knight Digital Art. Of course, I'd recommend that you actually read it and double check that this is all correct. And I'm happy with that. I'm gonna click copy and now I'll go back into my product listing and I'll simply do control V, which is a paste feature. Now I'm gonna remove the little prompt here at the start that says, yes, I'm gonna do this. And we can see now we've got medieval night digital art SVG and PNG download, and we've got the whole. So I've just written here under delivery and returns, this is an instant digital download, no returns accepted. Underneath it, where it says attach digital product, just make sure this is on. And now I'm going to upload my file. And you can see here, there's an option to attach multiple files. So I'm gonna click the little plus button. And I actually have two files here. One is a PNG file. So I'm gonna double click that and it's going to open and I'm gonna click it again and I'm gonna click on this one, which is my SVG file. So I've got two different files. Just double check that your file extensions are correct. Here's my PNG, here's my SVG. And now I can put in a product preview, which is like a thumbnail. Okay, so I've uploaded this. Now you may wanna put a thumbnail in here that has a watermark on it, or you may wanna have it partially cropped. Maybe you put a black listing over top of it that says the name of your store. That way nobody can steal your design. But you can also upload more like videos and photos to try to really sell your design here. Okay, and I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to click the next button, which is just located here on the bottom right hand side. It's just off camera, but I'm gonna click next. And we'll see here it says add product pricing. So this price is up to you. Some people have $30 digital downloads if it's a huge bundle. Some people sell things for a dollar. Now, most of this or all of this is gonna be profit because it's not costing me any money to ship this item, to print this item. It's a digital download, which is really great. So I'm gonna leave the previous price blank and the cost per item blank because I'm not selling a print on demand good here. And then I'll click the next button, which is again located down on the bottom right hand side. Now the last piece, which is really important is over on the right hand side, there are product tags and I highly recommend if you're using Everbee, which of course we are, that you go into Everbee itself to check the tags to make sure that you've got good looking keywords here. So here I'm gonna type in, for example, medieval, and I'll click enter, and I'll type in night, and I'll click enter. Okay, so I've entered in my product tags here, 
And if you're going to have this be part of a collection, this is where you would enter in the name of your collection here. Now, I don't have any collection set up at this time, but you'd enter it right there. And then you can see down below, the search engine listing now will populate with what this would look like if you were to say, Google this. And then there's the meta description down below. The meta description helps drive what we call SEO, which is search engine optimization. So you can make this 155 characters. I'm just going to put SVG PNG Medieval Knight Digital Art, and I'm going to remove the little graphic there. And now I'm going to click Create Product. Okay, and once your design has been published, you can see here it says Published. So I'm in the Products tab and the sub category of products and you'll see it pop up here. If you need to edit your design at any point, you can just simply click the line and it'll pop open. And then you can update the product title. You can update the description. Any of the fields becomes open for use. And then over on the right, I'll just click next and next. You can update this, just click update. And then you'll see it's now updated. So pretty easy to do there. And if you would like to actually see your listing, then what I recommend is you either go here to preview site on the top right, or you can go to your dashboard and you can click on right here where you have your actual website. Just click the copy button and that will copy the domain name into your clipboard. And then you can open a new tab in your web browser and you can see the actual listing. So here, for example, I'm on Zen water cooler, I scroll down, I can see the listing right here and I can click on the listing and that shows me the thumbnail. It says add to cart. I can review the description, looks really good. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Everbee and I highly recommend them. I'll put a link to Everbee in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link and that just means if you purchase the Everbee subscription, I would receive a small commission. I hope you found this helpful. Here's another video where you can use Everbee to help make sales.